What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and I am joined with my brother, Sonic the Hedgehog. Go ahead, bro, say hi. Yo, what's up, Blue Crew? It's your boy, Sonic the Hedgehog here. And from the title of this video, Flame, I already know what we're going to be playing. We're playing a game of Date or Pass, am I right? Yep, we're going to be playing another game of Date or Pass. But, quick question, why is the random symbol there? Well, I decided to mix it up a little bit. Instead of just looking at girls from one universe, we are going to be looking at women from multiple different universes. Oh, I see. So, what kind of universes are we looking at? Well, we're mainly going to be looking at women from different TV shows, uh, video games, anime... And lots of other places. So, yeah, like I said, this is all random. Um, okay. So, let's get started. Alright, well, for those of you guys who haven't played this and want to play this or do this for a future video one day, here's how you play. You look at a girl and you decide whether or not you're going to date them or you're going to give them the red card, which also means pass. <laughs> and we're judging these girls based off of two things, their personality and their looks. But we're mainly judging their personality. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. But anyway, let's get started. You ready, bro? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so if you guys want to see more uh, Date or Pass videos, hit that like button. And let me know in the comment section what universe do you guys want me to look at next. And which one of these girls in the list would you guys want to date or pass. Oh, and uh, one other thing. If you guys want Sarah and Amy to do a date or pass video, let us know in the comments section. If you guys want us, if you guys want us to let our wives do it. Because they, because I got the feeling just to even things out, just to even things out, we'll let the, we'll let the women look at the uh, Sonic guys. But anyway, bro, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, so the first girl we have here on the list is... Oh, wait, speaking of the list, we're going to 27 uh, women. Just to let you know, just to let you know, guys, 27 girls. Okay, so back to it. Let's get started. Okay, so anyway, the first girl we have here on the list is... Mount Lady from the My Hero Academia uh, universe. Wow. Um, she seems cute. Yeah, but remember, we're going off just by personality and looks. Well, since I seen My Hero Academia a lot, I know for a fact that Mount Lady, she is really kind and sweet towards others. And she's a really, really great hero. But, um, yeah, and, but, and from her look... She is really beautiful. I mean, I'm not going to lie. She is really, really beautiful. Yeah, you do have a point. She is pretty beautiful. But, bro, remember, bestiality. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, this is all hypothetical, I know. I mean, we're not actually going to date her. Besides, she already has a crush on somebody. Oh, I see. Okay, well, anyway, um, I guess I would have to say date... Yeah, I guess I'll say date, because uh, she is really nice, but wait, what are her powers? Well, her power, or in the My Hero Academia universe, Quirk, is she can grow at the size of a building. Um, don't you think that's going to be a problem? Because think about it, um, what if her powers accidentally go off? I highly doubt it, even though she does kind of have some control over her power, um, I'm still gonna have to say date, yeah, because, don't forget, she can always just practice, um, you know, controlling her growing powers. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to say date as well. I mean, she seems cute, she seems nice. So yeah, date. Yep, that's a date for both of us. Okay, so the next girl we have her on the list of this random mixed up list is Minnie Mouse. Okay, um, Minnie Mouse. All right, so the queen of Disney herself. <laughs> yeah, everybody seems to, everybody seems to be calling her and Mickey the uh, king and queen of Disney. But anyway, um, back to this. Uh, 
Minnie Mouse? Um, yeah, I guess I would date her. Because, uh, think about it. She is really kind and sweet and very nice to others. She's always ready to help others out. She's really cute and adorable. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say date. Alright, and as for me, I'm gonna have to say date too. But what about Mickey? I mean, won't he get mad at us for saying, you know, we'll date his, we'll date his um, girlfriend or his wife or something? No, it's his girlfriend. They refuse to marry. I don't know why. But anyway, um, but anyway, as for Mickey, I'm pretty sure he'll understand. I mean, Minnie has had her fair share of people coming after her. I mean, just look at Pete the Cat and Mortimer Mouse. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, that's just insane. And I forgot, Mickey, he, uh, did, you know, put the works out for them. <laughs> But, um, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it will be okay. So, yeah, Minnie Mouse, I'm gonna have to say, uh, date. Yeah, date. Okay, so, the next girl on the list is... Amy! Amy Rose, your wife, of course, from the Sonic universe. Okay, well, that's definitely a date for me. Because you know for a fact that, you know, Amy, she waited an absolutely long time to get a date for me. I mean, with me. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say date. Um, bro, please do not kill me, but I would date Amy as well. Dude, really? Yeah, I mean, hey, 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 remember what I said, this is all hypothetical. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. But anyway, tell me, why would you date Amy? Are you kidding me? Look at her. She's beautiful, kind, sweet towards others, and really, really strong. I mean, come on. Well, I guess you're right. So, yeah, I guess it's going to be a date for both of us. Yep, it's going to be a date for both of us. Alrighty, so next up on the list we have... Alice Angel from the game Bendy and the Ink Machine. Okay. Wait, Flame, aren't you good friends with Bendy anyway? Yeah, and I actually have met Alice. She's very kind and sweet. She's very kind and sweet towards others. And she tries really, really hard to be nice to Bendy. And Bendy tries really, really hard to be nice to her. But the thing is, they're like Romeo and Juliet. They're lovers from two different sides. He's a demon. She's an angel. Who knows? But they make their relationship work. Yeah, I mean, it's like they always say... Relationships come in many different sizes and shapes. Well, in this case, it's coming from both two different sides. Yep. And, you know, Alice, she is really kind, and heck, it won't be my first time that I dated an angel. Wait, you actually dated an angel? Dude, I was making a joke about Sarah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, yeah. Anyway, um, would you date her? Absolutely. I would date Alice Angel. Um, Bendy, please do not kill me if you're watching this. Do not kill me. Okay, well, anyway, anyway, wait, bro, what about you? Would you date her? Um, I guess so. I don't know. I guess I would date her. Um, but is she made out of ink just like, you know, all everybody else in Bendy and the Ink Machine? You know, I never actually considered that. I never actually considered that. Is she really made out of ink? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I mean, if Bendy's made out of ink, Boris is made out of ink, and everybody else is made out of ink, then we're just going to be dating a great big pile of ink that can walk and talk. Um, I honestly don't know now that I think about it. Um, but still, she is very kind to others, so I'm going to have to say date. Well, I guess I'll have to say date, too. I mean, she is really nice. Okay, well, anyway, next up on the list here we have, oh boy, we have Harley Quinn from the DC Batman universe. Oh my gosh. Wait, isn't Harley Quinn that uh, crazy girl that's always hanging around the Joker? Yeah, she is. Dude, I honestly don't know what the heck she sees in the Joker. That's because that she pities him. That's because she pities him. 
I mean, when I mean, think about it. Before she became Harley Quinn, she was a psychiatrist, and she was really, really interested in the Joker's case. And then, next thing you know, she. And then, next thing you know, she really started to fall in love with him, and so she started following in his footsteps. And then she became Harley Quinn. Oh my gosh! But anyway, I'm. But anyway, considering the fact that in the movie, uh. Batman and Harley Quinn, she did help Batman, she did help Batman, and, you know, at the end of the movie, she did get a kiss from both Batman and Nightwing, I'm not gonna lie, but, uh, would I date Harley Quinn, I honestly don't know, she, remember, she's crazy in the head, don't forget, she's crazy in the head, she can, uh, you know, she can, uh, you know, our, uh, you know, she can hit you upside the head with her hammer. I honestly don't know if she still uses that hammer as a prop and stuff. I honestly don't know. But, yeah, to play it safe, I'm going to have to say pass. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to have to say pass as well because, honestly, um, I don't do crazy girls. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Amy, she was crazy back in the day, but mainly for my love and stuff. But nowadays, she's more mature, so, yeah. Well, okay. Well, okay, then. All right, so that's a pass for both of us, right? Absolutely. There's no way I'm going to be going out with Harley Quinn. Well, okay. All right, so next girl on the list here is... Oh, Princess Peach from the Mario universe. Hmm... Well, we all know for a fact that Princess Peach, she is really kind and sweet and athletic. Like, I don't know what. I mean, we all see her in all these different Mario sports games like Mario, uh, like Super Mario Slugger and uh, Ma and uh, Mario Ace, Ace Mario, whatever that game is. It's, it's a soccer game. I honestly don't know. Plus, not to mention, she did compete in all the uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games games. Yeah, that's true. Plus, not to mention, uh, she is a really good-looking woman. But, and, you know, me and Mario, we even talked about it back in the day. We talked about it and said, I wonder what it will be like if Amy and Princess Peach switched places. Like, for, like, like what I mean is, they would, you know... If Mario was dating Amy and I was dating Peach, because, you know, um, I honestly don't know how that would be because, you know, for a fact, that's never going to happen. Um, but I guess I would date Peach because, hey, think about it. If I save her, I'll get cake. Yeah, that is true. She does bake a lot of cake. She does bake a lot of cake. And Sonic, you do like cake, don't you? Yeah, I do like me some cake. So, yeah, I guess I would date Peach. As for me, I guess I would date Peach as well. I mean, she is really kind and sweet towards others. She is really kind, and plus, not to mention, I think she could use some help, you know, ruling her uh, kingdom, the Mushroom Kingdom. She could use some help. I mean, don't, I mean, think about it, guys. She may have Toadette and Toad and all those other and all the other little people that can help her. But she could use some help and stuff, you know? Okay, so, yeah, I would definitely date Princess Peach. Yep, same here. All right, so the next girl we have here on the list is Chi-Chi from the Dragon Ball universe. Okay, so Chi-Chi. We already talked about this before, right? Yep, we already talked about this before. So, yeah, as for Chi-Chi, she is really nice to Goku, she's kind to others, but the one thing that I kind of have a problem with her is her temper and yelling. I mean, jeez. She's always yelling, she's very temperamental. So, yeah, Chi-Chi, I know I said I was going to date you before, but I think I'm going to change my answer. I'm going to have to say pass on you. Yeah, pass. Sorry. Plus, not to mention, I don't think Goku would appreciate us dating his wife, honestly. Yeah, and plus, not to mention, Chi-Chi, she's not really into, you know, 
dating furries and stuff. But don't forget about Super Saiyan 4. But that's not canon. Yeah, it's only canon in Dragon Ball GT, but people don't really like GT anymore. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, I'm gonna have to say pass on Chi Chi. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, Chi Chi. As nice as as nice as you are and a really good cook, I'm sorry, but no, nah, I'm passing. Okay, well, Sonic, so far so good. Okay, so anyway, on to the next girl we have here on the list is... Okay, so we have Tona Bandicoot from the uh, Crash Bandicoot universe. Um... Really? Yeah, it's Crash's girlfriend. Well, this is actually going to be no-brainer. Date, obviously. Because think about it like this. Crash, she... I mean, think about it like this. Crash barely ever pays attention to her. I mean, sure, he is her, her boyfriend and stuff. But he's more... But he's more focused on, you know, defeating Dr. Cortex and, you know, Dr. Neo Cortex and... She is very, very beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, honestly, I mean, honestly, I know Crash is my best friend and all. I know Crash is my best friend and all, but honestly, she is really kind. She is really kind and sweet towards him. And plus, not to mention, at the end of the day, she's always giving him a kiss. Yeah, that is true. But if you ask me, I guess I would date Tona. Yeah, I would date Tona. All right, I guess I would date her too. Remember, guys, we're not going off by her look and stuff. We're going off by her personality, which, by the way, she is very kind and sweet towards Crash, no matter how crazy in the chromosomes he is. Yeah, no matter how crazy in the chromosomes he is, she would always love him. I'm not going to lie. Crash, if you're watching this, you are a very, very lucky guy to have a girl like Tona. I'm not going to lie. Okay, well, anyway, moving on to the next girl. Oh, boy. Okay, so now we're moving on to Asdeath from the Akamaga Kill universe. Well, I know for a fact that Asdeath, she's my uh, friend and all. She's my best friend and all. But, um, but we're talking about the original uh, Asdeath. Which, by the way, I don't think anybody will want to date her. Because think about it like this. She's crazy in the membrane. Because think about it like this. She's crazy in the membrane. She's part of a military thing. And do you know what she likes doing? What? She likes torturing people with her ice powers. And let's just say, if you guys don't live up to her title, or do not give her the respect that she deserves, let's just say you will be kissing the heel of her boots. Literally. Ugh. I mean, she'll put you up in, I mean, she'll put you in chains, lock you in a dungeon, or she'll make you her pet. Which is just horrible. Ugh. Yeah, it's just really, really horrible. Wow, Flame, you're, you're talking like that actually happened to you. No, it didn't, okay? It's just that I seen a comic got killed, okay? And let me just say, it's not good. It's not good at all. I'm just saying, it is not good at all. Okay, 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 calm down, calm down. Whew. But it's a good thing you got the good version of Asdeath on your side, right? Yeah, the normal one, yeah, I'm passing on her. No matter how good looking she is and how beautiful and cute she looks, no, I am not dating her, I am sorry. Yeah... After hearing you say that, and after seeing you freak out like that, no, I'm not going to date her either. Okay, well, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up is... Okay, so next up we're on Kala Maria from the Cuphead universe. Oh, you mean that giant um mermaid slash siren uh, woman? Yeah, that's her. Um, okay, well, let's think about this for a moment. During her boss battle, she can not only turn turn people into stone, but she's also like this half-monster type thing. Yeah, that's true. I mean, she's half-siren and half-sort-of-a-medusa-type monster. 
I mean, her siren half, when she sings, she can, you know, make people fall in love with her. And when she, and as her, as for her Medusa side, we already know she can turn people to stone. Um, and she could turn into this, uh, ugly, giant, uh, cute, but very, very powerful, uh, sea monster thing. But, uh, I'm gonna have to say date. Yeah, I guess I would date her. Um, I honestly don't know how the relationship is gonna, is going to work, because, think about it like this, we can't go out on dates and stuff, it's gonna have to be mainly by the seaside, because she needs water and stuff. Um, and as for, and, you know, um, I'm gonna have to say one thing. Mugman, he is very, very lucky to have a girl like her. Yeah, if you guys don't know about this, um, there's this fanfic going around where Mugman and Colin Maria, they actually got together. And same thing with Cuphead and Baroness Bon Bon Bon. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, um, I guess I would date, uh, Kala. She is really, I mean, we know for a fact that, you know, in the game, she was really mean and very evil-like but stu and stuff. But she actually, but at the end of the day, she is really kind and sweet towards others. She really is. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say date. Well, as for me, I'm gonna have to say pass. I mean, come on. I don't want to end up like my friends on what happened in Sonic Generation. You know, them turning to stone. Dude, she only turns people to stone if you piss her off. So, just don't piss her off. Okay, if you say so. So, yeah, I guess I would date her. Okay, so, yeah, that's a date for both of us for Kala Maria. Okay, so anyway, next up on the list we have... Okay, so we have Sally Acorn. So we have Sally Acorn. Um, no-brainer. That's a date. Um, but honestly, I know I said I would date her, but think about it like this, guys. Think about it like this. I have dated her in the past, and so did I. But the thing is, she can be a little bit too controlling and stuff. But, hey, um, but, hey, guys, the reason why she was kind of controlling was because she really was more focused on, you know, saving the world and stuff. I mean, she just think that there's no time for, you know, fun and games. Well, this giant revolution was happening. And, guys, for those of you guys who know, who, and, guys, for those of you guys who really know Sally, good for you. But, guys, think about it like this. She was just controlling to me because back in the day, I was kind of not really focused on the giant war and stuff because I was just trying to have a little fun. But she was trying to, you know, set me straight. And I wasn't, and I wasn't listening, so I just, you know, said screw it and we broke up. But if I was given the chance, I would date her again. But, nah... But, yeah, I guess I would say date, because, yeah, she was one of the best girlfriends I had, besides Amy. I mean, don't get me wrong, because all the other girlfriends that I had back in the day, you know, because, yeah, because they either cheated on me, or they just weren't interested in me anymore. Like, for instance, uh, Mina the Mongoose, we dated for a little while, and then she just, you know, kind of went after this Ash guy. Oh my gosh, I hate Ash so much. You and me both. You know I absolutely hate Ash. Ugh. But anyway, um... But anyway, as for me, I would date Sally back again. I would date Sally again. Because, you know, she was kind of... You know, because, you know, um... Even though we didn't get married or anything, it would be kind of cool if we did, but no. But, um, I guess we would date her. I, I guess I would date her again, because... You know, she was... She was the one that did teach me how to be to the art of royalty and stuff because you know back in the day I didn't know I was the prince of Mobius and stuff but anyway yeah I guess at the end of the day I guess we would both date her yeah so yeah Sally Acorn is getting a date from both of us yeah okay moving on to the next one all right so the next girl we have here on this random list is Oh boy, another Batman villain. It's Poison Ivy. Okay, well, 
as beautiful and cute as Poison Ivy looks, her personality, she does, she cares for, I mean, she cares about plants more than men. Plus, she hates men. Yeah, that's true. She hates men. She hates men. Reason why is because men are always tearing down plants, killing the forest, and all sorts of other things. So, yeah. But, um, plus, not to mention, guys, we can't date her. Because think about it like this. If I date her, then we'll have to kiss her. And if I kiss her, we're gonna get poisoned. Because don't forget, her lipstick is some type of poison. Yeah, think about it like that. Yeah, after hearing that, yeah, I'm gonna have to say pass. Yeah, pass. Sorry. Plus, not to mention, guys, uh, she is a scientist. I mean, I did date a scientist once, but no, I'm not gonna be dating Poison Ivy again. I mean, pfft, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say again, because I never actually dated her. Sorry. But anyway, uh, me and Sonic are gonna have to pass on Poison Ivy. Sorry. Okay, so, next girl on the list is... Ah, uh, come on! Really? Really? Okay. Whoever made this list... Oh yeah, by the way, guys, I did not make this list. I did not make this list. It was left on my doorstep. It was left on my doorstep, and it said, Random Date or Pass video, okay? But anyway, yeah. Who the heck put Mary on the list? Come on! I mean, come on, guys. Really? I mean, don't get me wrong. Mary from the Splatoon universe, she is cute. She is cute and adorable. Same thing with Callie, Pearl, and Marina. But the thing is, guys, us in the Splatoon universe, we are really tight. We're, we're really, really close. But, guys, come on. The Squid Sisters and Off the Hook, they're literally like sisters to us. Yeah, they're like sisters to us. There's no way I would date Mary. And plus, not to mention, she's very shy and timid and very, very quiet. I mean, think about it, guys. Come on. So, yeah. Mary, pass. Sorry, Mary. Again, as cute and adorable as you are, I'm gonna have to say pass. I am very, very sorry. Yeah, same here. Plus, not to mention, I don't think... I don't, plus, not to mention, I don't think any of the uh, Squid Sisters or Off the Hook are interested in uh, dating right now. I honestly don't know if they are or not. Yeah, I don't know if they are interested in dating yet. I honestly don't know. Because they are more focused on, you know, their shows and all sorts of other things, too. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say pass on Mary. Sorry, Mary. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so who's the next girl? Yeah, and we're on the 14th girl. Okay, so moving on, it is... Okay, so we are on Mitsuki Bakugo from My Hero Academia. Another My Hero Academia character. Okay, well, considering the fact that she raised a little butthole, such as Bakugo, ugh, ugh, you know, I really don't like Bakugo, but I'm not gonna lie, her mom, I mean, his mom, is really adorable and cute, and, you know, she, and her personality, one half, she is very kind and sweet and very, very gentle. But on the other hand, she's always ready to beat the crap out of her son. I mean, they're always arguing and stuff. It's like I said, Bakugo is a little butthole, but I'm not gonna lie. I honestly, I honest, honestly, guys, I honestly don't know where Bakugo got his, uh, you know, angry temper. Because I know he didn't get it from his mom or his dad. I honestly don't know. But anyway, um, would I date Mitsuki Bakugo? I mean, sure. I mean, her husband isn't really, you know, living up to her title or anything. So, yeah, I guess I would date Mitsuki Bakugo. Well, as for me, I guess I would date her too. I mean, I heard that she has the same quirk as Bakugo. You know, the exploding hands. Yeah, I honest, to be honest, I only really don't know where, um... Bakugo got his quirk. I really don't know. But if you ask me, I guess she I guess he did get it from his mom because I have seen fan art of of uh, you know, her in Bakugo's, you know, superhero outfit. And I got to say, she does look really cool in it. And so yeah, anyway, um like I said, I would date Mitsuki Bakugo. 
Yeah, I guess I would date her too. Besides, I could give her a break from her butthole of a son, Bakugo. Yeah, I really do hope that Bakugo doesn't want, uh, doesn't see this. <laughs> yeah, I really do hope that he really doesn't see this. Uh, and even if he does, I can easily take him on. Yeah, same here. I mean, come on. Think about it. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, let's move on to the uh, next girl. Okay, next girl on the list is... Okay, so now we're on another Dragon Ball character. Okay, so now we're on another Dragon Ball character. This is Jine, you know, Goku's mom. Oh, okay, so this is Goku's mom. So this is who I heard so much about. Yeah, this is Jine. Okay, so, um, I guess I would date her. But here's the thing, uh, I honestly don't know if Bardock would appreciate that. Plus, not to mention, I really don't know much about her. I don't know what her personality is. So, I'm just gonna go off on her look. Um, she seems really cute and adorable. I mean, she did raise her son right. And plus, not to mention, I don't know why in the- I, Plus, I don't know how she can put up with a little butthole like Raditz. I mean, I'm gonna have to say Goku is a whole much better son than Raditz. I mean, come on. Think about it. Raditz, he was a total butthole. I mean, he kidnapped Gohan, he beat the crap out of both Piccolo and Goku. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to say, um, I guess I would date Jine. Yeah, I guess I would date her too. Yeah, I guess I would date her as well. I mean, she seems really nice and sweet. Plus, not to mention, I never thought the, uh, legend- Plus, I never thought the, uh, famous son Goku could have came from this. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, moving on to the next one. All right, next girl on the list is... Okay, we're on to the girlfriend from Friday Night Funkin'. Okay, so, the girlfriend. Um, well, despite... Well, you guys know for a fact that the girlfriend, she's almost like a sister to me. She's very, very nice and sweet and kind. And she tries really, really hard to suppress her demon side. Yeah, she, yeah, and I do gotta admit, she is doing a pretty good job doing that. I mean, we all saw her demon form on many different occasions in Friday Night Funkin'. Whether or not it's a mod, whatever it is, her actual demon form, it's just that she does sometimes tap into her demon powers. I mean, once we see her eyes sparkle red, we know for a fact that she is using her demon power. So, yeah, I guess she's okay, but it's just that I don't want my, uh, I just that I don't want things to get in between me and, uh, you know, Daddy Dearest, because don't forget, guys, the whole Sonic mod thing in Friday Night Funkin', you know, the whole Sonic mod thing, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, you know for a fact that we know the girlfriend, the boyfriend, and everybody else in Friday Night Funkin' personally. Yeah, but if you ask me, I guess I would date her. I mean, she is really kind, and plus, not to mention, I am trying to, you know, suppress my demon side. And for those of you guys who have seen the video about my demon side, yes, I have a demon side. But Sarah, but, and he's really, really pissed off at Sarah for not letting me, you know, reach higher heights and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I guess I would date her. I would date her. Okay, well, if you ask me, I guess I would date her, too. I mean, she seems nice. She seems nice. And she is really, really... And, you know, she is really, really nice. And she is kind of, you know, into rappers. She really is into rappers. Because think about it like this. She did pick up the boyfriend mighty quickly. Yeah, that's true. She did, didn't she? Okay, well, anyway, yeah, I guess I would date her. She is really kind. Okay, so, yeah, anyway, anyway, um, go ahead and, uh, Sonic, are you gonna date her or not? Um, I guess. Like I said, I really don't want to get things in between the boyfriend and Daddy Dearest and me, because, you know, for a fact, I am in Friday Night Funkin' and all that other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I guess I would date her. Okay, can we move on, please? Yes, we can move on to the next girl. Woo! We did have a hard time trying to debate this, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. Let's move on. Okay. 
The next girl on the list, again, is a random. So, here we go. Okay. Um, who is this? Who is this? I had never actually seen this girl before. Well, I have back in my day. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you guys who don't remember, this is Brittany Miller from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Remember? Oh yeah, now I remember. But wait, she looks different now. Oh, this is her 90s version. This is her 90s version. But she kind of has the, all the personalities of her live action version and the, uh, you know, 2015 version of her. Okay, so what's her personality like? I kind of forgot. Well, her personality, she is very, um, you know, she's always trying to be popular. She's really, really good at singing. And she's just really trying to get into the spotlight. Because think about it like this. In the 90s shows, in the 90s shows, she's really, really trying to get the Chipettes to, you know, get, get motivated and stuff. And, you know, get them into the spotlight. And in the, uh, sorry, and in the live action movie, she was trying to do the same thing. Even though, you know, Ian was trying to, you know, separate Britney from her sisters, she stuck by her sisters. And, you know, <laughs> it was pretty cool. And then in the 2015 TV show, Alvin and the Chipmunks, um, she basically was trying to become a famous fashion designer. Yeah, you do got a point, because if I remember correctly, she is really into fashion. Yeah, she is. So, despite all that, would you date her or not? Um, I honestly... Okay, to be honest, yes, I would date Britney. Okay, well, if you ask me, I guess... No, no, I'm not going to date her. Because, think about, because, to be honest, she's like a sister to me. She's like a sister to me. Because think about it like this. Back in the day, she did kind of prepare. Because think about it like this. Her and the Chipmunks and the rest of the Chipettes, they did teach me, you know, how to fully uh, master my musical talent. So that way I could be prepared for the Sonic Underground and stuff. Yeah, that's true. And Dustin, just to let you know, you really did kill it on your bass. Oh, thank you. Okay, so, and also guys, I have sung with the Chipmunks and the Chipettes a lot of times. Cool. Because, get this, I actually can shapeshift into a uh, chipmunk, whether or not it's the 90s or the 2015 form or the live action form. I can shapeshift into my very own chipmunk form. It's pretty cool. But anyway, um, would I date her? Again, no. She's getting a pass for me because, like I said, she's like a sister to me. And as for me, I would date her because, think about it like this, I'm trying to get into the spotlight well, not really, because I am kind of already in the spotlight. Come on, I'm the main character of my own franchise. Okay, well, anyway, let's move on to the next girl. All right, next girl on the list is... Okay, so we are on Rosie the Rascal from, of course, the Sonic Universe. Okay, so another version of Amy. Um, I guess I would date her. I guess I would date her, despite the fact that she did kind of almost smash my head in the first time we met. Yeah, the first time we met, she did almost smash my head in with her hammer. And plus, not to mention, <laughs> I would see the look, I want to see the look on her face. I want to see the look on, you know, I would want to see the look on Scourge's face when he sees me dating his girl. <laughs> yeah. But you, knew, but you do know for a fact that Rosie and all the other exes aren't his girls anymore, right? Yeah, I know, but it just makes it so more. But it just makes it so much more funny. Okay, if you say so, bro. So yeah, as for me, um, she, I actually did try really, really hard to, you know, convince her to, you know, drop, to, you know, drop, um, sorry, scourge because of how mean he is and how rude he is to her and all sorts of things. So, yeah, um, if I wasn't married to, uh, you know, Sarah, I guess I would date her too. I guess I would date her because she does deserve a nice man, despite the fact how crazy in the head she was. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, yeah, so I guess that's both a date for us. Yep, it is. Okay, so who's the next girl? 
It is... Oh boy, okay. Wait, is that that woman from Ruby? Yep, this is... Yep, it's Cinder from... It's Cinderfall from the Ruby universe. Okay, so like I said before, guys, I'm not looking at the uh, nice version that's on my side. We're looking at the normal canon version of her. Which, by the way, is evil like I don't know what. I mean, she killed Pyrrha. She killed her. She almost killed multiple... She killed multiple people. She killed Penny. Well, not really. She kind of semi-killed her. Uh, Jean did the rest. But, um... Yeah, I am not dating Cinder. Plus, not to mention the good version of her, which is on my side. I would date her, maybe. I don't know. But... No, I'm not dating the canon version of her. No way, I am not doing that. Yeah, as for me, I'm not doing that either. Yeah, as for me, I'm not doing that either because didn't you say that she was hungry for power? I mean, dude, just think about it. If she got a hold of our powers. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I have I mean, I have god powers and you have powers of speed. I mean, what the heck? Um, yeah, you're right. So, yeah, Cinder, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to get a pass from both of us. Mainly this version. The e the good version, uh, yeah, she would get a pa you would get a date, but nope, you're getting a pass for me and Flame. Okay, alright, so, next girl on the list is... Okay, so, we are on... Lady Tsunade. We are on Lady Tsunade from the Naruto universe. Hmm. Wait, how do you pronounce her name again? Tsunade. Okay, okay, I got it. Yeah, Granny Pack herself, the fifth Hokage. The fifth Hokage. But anyway, um, she's very, very strong and powerful. She's very strong and powerful. She's a really good fighter. She's kind to others. And let's just say, um, she is a really, really good leader. She's a really, really good leader. Wow. Well, and that's, well, if that's the case, she's getting a date from me. But, dude, think about it like this. If Jiraiya couldn't get with her, what makes you think you can? I mean, I'm a really good leader myself. I mean... She fits, I mean, she has a whole bunch of qualifications that makes me want to date her. I mean, look at her. She's very, very beautiful, kind, and she's very, very strong. And again, like you said, she is a really, really good leader. So, yeah, who wouldn't want to date her? Well, I see your point there, bro. So, yeah, I guess I would date her as well. I guess I would date her as well. She is really nice and kind. Okay, so, yeah, that's a date for both of us from, from Lady Tsunade. Okay, so, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Oh, no, not this one. Okay, whoever put this girl on this list, you guys need to... Oh, my gosh, what the world? What? What is it? No. No. Not her. Yes. The next girl on the list is Lady Dimitrosk from Resident Evil 8 Village. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, we already know about her personality. For those of you guys who played the game, I mean, she's a very, very tall and beautiful woman. She's very, uh, she's very, very, um, seductive at first. She's very, very seductive at first. Then, next thing you know, she's got you. She's got you. Yeah, because pretty soon, she's going to drain you of your very essence. So, yeah, she is getting an absolute pass. She's getting a pass. Yeah, she's getting a pass from me. And by the way, guys, I have saw that video by that, 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 that Mwiki Mikey made of me meeting her. Oh, my gosh. I honestly don't know what to do about that because, guys... There's no way, no way in heck that I am ever going to meet Lady Dimitrosk. 
because think about it like this, as tall and beautiful as she is, and not to mention the uh, big um, situations, no, I'm not dating her, because at the end of the day, I'm probably just going to be, because I'm probably just going to be her next meal, her and all three of her daughters, because trust me guys, I am not going to be doing that, uh-uh, no way, uh-uh, no. Okay, Sonic, just calm down. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. It's just that I really, really don't want to date this girl. I really don't. Don't worry, we're not. I'm just saying, it's just insane. But anyway, and yet people really do seem to like her a lot because of uh, two things. One, she's beautiful, and two, it's her big, um, I might as well say them, boobies. I'm just going to say that right there. Even though I can't say it, I don't care anymore. I'm just going to say it. But anyway, let's just continue. Uh, okay. Now that we got that done, let's move on to the next one. Whew. Okay. Anyway, next girl on the list. Okay. Someone a whole lot more safer than Lady Dimitrosk. It is Android 21 from the Dragon Ball universe. Okay. Well, guys, we all know for a fact that... Whew. Okay, I'm a little bit out of breath speaking my breath about Lady Dimitrosk, but still... Anyway, um, as for Android 21, I guess I would date her, but there could be the chance that she could, um, turn into her Majin form. Either way, I would date her. She still looks really cute and adorable, either as a Majin or in her, you know, normal form. Or human form, whichever one you want to call her. And plus, not to mention, she is kind and sweet. She's really kind and sweet. Plus, she's really demoted to her work. Then, not to mention, in her Majin form, she is um, very, very hungry for sweets. She absolutely love her sweets. And same thing with me. Yeah, same here with me. So, what do you say? Date? Date. Yep, definitely date. Okay, so yeah. Android 21, you're getting a date from both of us. Okay, next girl on the list is... Okay, so we got another um, My Hero Academia character. This is Midnight. Midnight. For those of you guys who don't remember her, she uh, died. Yeah. May you rest in peace, Midnight. Okay, so what's her personality like? Well, she is very, very beautiful. She's very beautiful, kind, and it's just that she's very, very mean to Mount Lady. I don't know why, but she is really, really cute. She's kind and, uh, let's just say very, very seductive. Wait, did you say seductive? Yeah, she is very, very seductive. I mean, one of her powers, I believe, is, uh, she can, you know, seduce people, mainly men. But she does kind of have a crush on somebody. I forgot his, I forgot the name of the person that she has a crush on. But, um, yeah, I guess I would date her. I mean, she seems nice enough. Yeah, I guess I would date her too. And just let you know, she, you know, she is, uh, really, really lucky that we can bring her back. Yeah, we can bring her back. I can just go to the... I could just go to the My Hero Academia universe and bring her back. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, anyway, let's move on to the next girl. Okay, next girl on the list is... Okay, so we got another Friday Night Funkin' Universe character. It is Sky. Okay, so we have Sky from the uh, Friday Night Funkin' Universe. Wait, isn't that the cuckoo crazy girl that's kind of after player? I mean, I mean, the boyfriend? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But, um, I would date her. I guess I would date her. Because, um, the reason why I would date her is because, think about it like this. She worked so hard to impress the boyfriend. She worked really, really hard to impress him. And yet, she really, and yet, um, he doesn't really notice her because he is with the girlfriend and stuff. And, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, even though she didn't get him, she really, really worked herself. Heck, she even worked herself into her psycho form or her demon form, whichever one it is. I honestly don't know. But, um, yeah. Anyway, but anyway, I would date her. Um, I guess I would date her too, but 
just as long as she's not, you know, being all crazy and stuff like she was before. Yeah, let's just hope that she's not really, like, super crazy. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to date her. Okay, we'll date her. Alright, so next girl on the list is... Okay, so another random. Alright, um, for those of you guys who don't remember, this is Lori Loud from the famous Nickelodeon show, The Loud House. Okay, i never seen the show, but I have heard about it. Um... What's the show about again? Um, it's about a boy named Lincoln growing up with ten sisters. Oh, Jesus. I feel bad for that boy. Yeah, I really do feel bad for Lincoln. Oh, yeah, now I remember the show. I remember the show now. And I think I remember Lori's personality. Yeah, she's always on, yeah, she's always on her phone, always talking to her boyfriend, Bobby, and all that other stuff. And other times, she's really nice and sweet and kind towards others. But the thing, but at the bottom line is, she just wants her siblings to know that she's in charge. Even when, even if she has to, you know, lay down the law. Because we, come on guys, we all saw the episode of The Loud House, No Guts, No Glory. Where she put on like this whole military thing. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, Lori. Just because you're the oldest sibling, it doesn't mean that you gotta be a, dig a dictator to them. So, honestly, okay, so honestly, Lori, I'm gonna have to say pass on you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say pass on her, too, because there's no way, if I was gonna be dating her, there's no way I am gonna be her whipping boy. Dude, she does that to her siblings, not her boyfriend. Yeah, I'm just saying. Plus, not to mention, didn't her boyfriend move? Didn't her boyfriend move away? Yeah, she did. Yeah, he did move away from her. But that was on but that was only because, you know, it was her mom's it was his mom's decision and all that other stuff. But um yeah, I'm gonna have again, I'm gonna have to say pass. Sorry, Lori. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say pass too. I'm very sorry, even though I never actually met you. I never actually met you, but yeah, sorry. Well, alright. Okay, so anyway, next girl on the list is Okay, so we have Chi Lai from the Dragon Ball universe from the Broly movie. Okay, so, well, for those of you guys who have seen the Broly movie, including myself, good for you. But for those of you guys who haven't seen it, you guys should really go check it out. It's really cool. Um, but anyway, as for Chi Lai, as for Chi Lai, um, yes, I would date her. She's really nice to Broly, she's kind, and she really cares for Broly. I mean, even though Broly was raised by his father to grow up to be a, uh, you know, mean, savage fighter and stuff, I mean, chi -Lai doesn't see that at all. She just sees a very, very troubled girl. He just sees, she just sees a very, very troubled boy. That's, you know, enslaved by her father. Enslaved by his father. So, yeah, I would definitely date Chi Lai. I mean, she just reminds me of Bulma a little bit. She reminds me of Bulma a little bit from the Dragon Ball universe. Yeah, I can see that. And as for me, I guess I would date her. I mean, if she can calm down a, if she can calm down a gentle giant like Broly, that's a girl that I can definitely get down with. Yeah, she is very kind. To him, even though she, even though he is kind of a uh, reckless brute. Okay, well, anyway, but anyway, um, we're both saying a uh, date. Yep, we're both saying date. Okay, well, anyway, let's move on to the last and final girl. Whew, we made it to number twenty-seven finally. Okay, we are on number twenty-seven, guys, and. It is okay. So again, random as crap. Okay, I never actually seen this girl. Who is this? Okay, this is Uzaki Chan from the anime Uzaki Chan Wants to Hang Out. Okay, well, we already know for a fact that her personality, she is really, really cute and kind. Um,. The only thing that's kind of holding her back 
is uh, the fact that, um, you know, she has great big joops. Yeah, she has great big joops. So, yeah. Everybody's always, you know, just after them. If it's not them, it's her uh, other joops or her or her situation in, or her situations in the back. I don't want to say it. But um but um I um oh my gosh, this is a mixed basket over here. This is a mixed basket. I don't know. Yeah, it's a mixed basket for me and I haven't actually seen the episode before. Well, I have and it's something. Plus not to mention I can see and plus not to mention uh she is really, really kind of, you know, a little bit annoying because she's always wanting somebody to hang out with her, whether if it's her friends or her total strangers. I mean, I wouldn't mind hanging out with her. You wouldn't? Yeah, I mean, meeting new friends and just hanging out with them, chilling, it's pretty cool. I mean, we could go out and go, some, go get some chili dogs or something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, I guess I would date Uzaki-chan. Yeah, me too. Come to think of it, speaking of, speaking of, uh, chili dogs, I am really hungry. Um, are there any chili dogs in the world where she's from? I believe so. I believe so. Alright, bet. Let's go. Wait, you want to go to her universe? Yeah, why not? I mean, I just said I wanted to make a new friend. Plus, don't you know her? Um, yeah, I do know her. And her mom as well. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, if you say so. Well, first, let me at least end off the video real quick. All right, guys. That's it for today's very, very um, long uh, and random video of Date or Pass. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Again, I do apologize for it being really, really long. It's just that the reason why it's so long is because we keep on talking and stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comment section which one of these girls do you guys want to date. And which one of these girls do you guys want to pass, you know, give the red light to. And also, guys, if you guys want the girls to do a Sonic Boys edition of date or pass let me let me know in the comments section and i'll talk to the girls and see if they'll do it okay but um anyway um and if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that way you guys will be up to date whenever i post anyway if you guys excuse me and sonic we are off to the anime universe to see uzaki chan and see if we can get some chili dogs. Oh, and also, guys, the whole situation about me and Sonic getting a second wife, that situation, that's going to be taken care of. I don't know how it's going to be taken care of, but remember, Sonic, we do have until next Monday. We do have until Monday to, you know, figure something out. Yeah, you're right. I honestly don't know what we're going to do, but we'll figure something out. Because there's no way I am going to be getting a second wife. Yeah, me either. But it's either that or get roboticized. Well, I guess there's going to be another Metal Sonic. And another Metal Flame, I guess. I don't know, because there's no way I'm going to be dating another wife. But anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog and Sonic the Hedgehog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers. Again, I do apologize for this being so long.